This is Rome, and of course you'll always be driving past some ruin because this is where you experience ancient and modern at one full swoop. Rome, the city of life in the open air. Who would say no to a slice of watermelon in the shade of Constantine's Arch? Constantine's Arch and the Colosseum, that classic theater that has become Rome's symbol. The stark dramas played out here are in unbelievable contrast to the soft, modern living for which Rome is now famed. It's fitting that the city with the famous ancient theater should possess one of the world's most modern theaters as well. A gigantic cinema for motorists, one of the first in Europe. The Auto Cine, as it's called, is the luxury shape of cinema entertainment to come in operation today. Talk about big screen presentation of a motion picture, and here you really mean it. The Auto Cine screen is an engineering achievement in itself, not without grandeur and functional beauty. Building it presented all the problems you encounter in constructing a giant bridge, a truly exciting enterprise of which Rome is rightly proud. The projection box houses precision equipment with arc lights that can throw Technicolor splendor ten times the length of the average cinema. A thousand cars can park, each at a plug-in point, where it hooks up with its own private adjustable speaker and an electric heater in case it's chilly. A visit to the Auto Cine is a motor outing for the whole family. It's all been planned so you can get there early and let the children loose in the playground that adjoins the bar restaurant behind the open-air auditorium. It's almost a way of life. Everything has been made so easy. Cars filter off the main motorway onto a service road, which prevents any hint of a traffic jam as they drive in to the ample box office gates, where tickets are handed in through the car windows. There's a sense of occasion as the cars begin to arrive. Some with baby fast asleep on the back seat in a carry cart. Some with picnic baskets and rugs so they can sit out if it's a warm evening and see the film right out in the open air. You can adjust your angle of vision on the ramps over every row of plug-in points. Study the drill. You don't waste your battery on a car heater, you plug this one in. Just ask yourselves if you've picked the spot that suits the whole family and then fun and frolics with the late sun telling you how much time you've got for dinner before darkness comes and the show starts. The stream of arriving cars smoothly builds up. It's a bit like a motor rally for family cars. As shadows lengthen, the open air cafe is filling up. There's time to relax, knowing your car will be in position, hooked up to become your own private theater box. You can, if you like, sit on at your cafe table and see the show from here, but you can only hear it from the privacy of your car. Inside, the restaurant is emptying and the snack bar is supplying last-minute requests for food and drink to take back to the car. The sudden darkness adds to the expectancy and very soon now, the night will be ablaze with colour. You can see how the Dolce Vita Romans have taken to the cinema of tomorrow and added it to their envious list of civilized amenities and developments of lush living. Let's join the latecomers as they get themselves lined up for the screen spectacular of the minute. My Fair Lady, splashed in its gay extravagance across the sky from this projection box. All this in your own car at an auto cine such as we hope to have in Britain very soon.